You've been at college. Anyway, I've mentioned him. We've been dating all semester. So what's he like? What do you want me to say to you? Uh, he's a boy. He's 18. And despite the raging hormones, he actually manages to be quite sweet. I just don't want you to do anything you'll regret. Too late. I already own a pair of acid wash jeans. Jokes, humor. I'm here trying to protect you and you're making jokes. Trust me, I don't need protecting. I mean, you act like I've never been on a date before. This isn't a date. This is prom. 65% of prom dates end in sex. Okay, you just made that up. Okay, maybe I did. Fun, right? <laughs> Told you. Eight miles an hour, four hour minimum. Clock's ticking, ticking. Ah, oh, stupid limo. What are you using for cologne? Mustard gas? <laughs> what? Be over. I just want to go home. I love you so much. Tonight's the night. Change. Oh, you step on my foot uh, one more time. I, I swear to God. Oh, Jessica, it's very good. Three more weeks. Yeah. Three more weeks. Yeah. Three more weeks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Come on. Hey, what's here? Two weeks and you still don't have a diagnosis. Without clear physiological signs, it's a little more difficult. We're working on her. I want her to put on suicide watch. We don't think Frey is going That's to... That's what they said about my wife. They were working on her, too. Callister, Freya E., committed July 6, 1994. One of our more interesting cases. Initial diagnosis was schizophrenic catalepsy, though opinions were sharply divided amongst the staff. It's just that no one had ever seen such extreme symptoms. Most cases of schizophrenia first manifest at puberty, but rarely does it strike with such intensity. In the three years following her committal, she showed no progress. Then, one day, Freya became a full-blown controversy. Oh, 
What did I look like when I was born? Uh -huh. He asked for the 20th time this yeah. month. For the 100th time this year. I told him I didn't have my cigarette. I didn't have my damn cigarette. They didn't give it to me. And did Papa sing too? Yes. Papa sang too. The nurses began to bring in books. It was clear she wasn't just turning pages, but beyond that, we didn't know what to make of it. Post-pubescent expression of autism, a new mental anomaly. I mean, schizophrenic cataleptics don't read Dickens. Nor do they engage in strenuous exercise on a regular basis. Ms. McAllister became a ward of the state October 2nd, 2000. The flown in experts done every test known to modern psychiatry. We're still at square one. If you'd called, I could have saved you the trip. She's hopeless. Hopeless? Take a good look at her, doctor. She's the most important person you'll ever meet. Excuse me. You're excused. Get her trank to make sure her books are tagged. Dr. Wells, is this some kind of joke? Now works for me.
Walking? Yeah. Hello, Freya. You can hear me. Good. How are you feeling? Drugs from the hospital should be wearing out pretty quick. You know, we have, um, we have some non-hospital food if you're hungry. Don't be afraid. We're here to help you. Where am I? You're upstate New York, just uh, 30 miles outside of a little town called Lincroft. My name is Michael, and I know all about you. I know about the voices, all about them. How they changed when they put you in the brick right? They screamed and mumbled, even laughed at you. I even know things about you you don't know yourself. Would you like to hear one? You're not crazy. Those voices in your head, they're not in your imagination. They come from outside of you. Look at me. Come on, look at me. No! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my Freya, look at me. No one's gonna hurt you. Come on, look at me. The voices in your head are the thoughts of everyone around you, everyone in this room. Come on, Freya, no, no one's gonna hurt you. Look at me. Look at me. You can read minds. Freya, you're a telepath. I still don't understand. So you haven't cured me? No. You were never really sick to begin with. Just gifted. Joan of Arc, Rasputin, Nostradamus, they all heard voices just like you. If they were just like me, how come they weren't locked up in a mental ward? Because you're more gifted than they were. Pray for me. I want to see my dad. Your dad? Well, it's been a while, Freya, and uh, I don't think you're ready for the world, and I know the world's not quite ready for you yet. But more importantly, <clears throat> if you were to leave right now, the uh, voices would come back. Can't you just take it away? Cut out some brain cells or something? No, I can help you turn the corner. I can help you get control of them, but there's no cure. And even if I could cure you, I wouldn't. You're one of a kind. I don't care. I want to go home. Yeah. One challenge at a time. It's called the Kiroscope. Come on, let's go. Right now, your mind is like an open tent. No one could sneak in. If we were to drop you in a heavily populated area, well, you know what would happen. Brokerage. Uh -huh. Or worse. In Brokerage, you found a way to shut the tent. You're talking about my books. Right. Any books help you focus your mind and shut out the voices. Now, you just have to learn how to do the same thing with your minds. But the key, the key, to do it one mind at a time. All right. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm just gonna put this on. Make it easy. Okay. Your mind will only hear what your eyes see. So look at me. Keep them on me. Now. All right. Blocks down. One. Okay. That's it. You're hearing other voices. Let them go. 
Don't give them power. Concentrate. Come on. Come on. Listen only to my thoughts. Focus on my voice. And let all the rest go. Find the silence. Find it. That's it. Okay, come back. Doing great. Very good. Now let's try it again. Circle. Wavy lines. Star. Excellent. Okay, this time I want you to close your eyes. Close my eyes? Mm hmm Why? Let's see. There's nothing you can't do. Look, well, your eyes select what you're going to read. It's called active telepathy. With your eyes closed, it's passive telepathy. You mean insanity? No, I mean power. With, with passive telepathy, you can read minds whether you see people or not. Look, if you can control the voices with your eyes closed, you can read thoughts behind you, through walls, just about anywhere. What about when I sleep? My eyes are closed then. Do I dream other people's dreams? Or nightmares? See, there you go. That's very creative. I didn't think about that. What else didn't you think about? I don't know. I have to think about it. Why can I only read your thoughts when you want me to? Because then we'd have nothing to talk about and I enjoy our little chats. All right, it's called blocking. A little mental discipline I developed over the years, it quiets my thoughts. What are you thinking about right now? You. Circle, square, star, square, baby line. Well, now you've been reading minds because you want to. Not in the world, it's funny because you have to. It's got to become instinctual. Elizabeth. All right. Elizabeth is going to approach and attack you. Now try and listen for her intentions, but also try and see them, right? Like you did the note cards. Okay, let's go. All right, hands up. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 come on, come on, come on. Try again, try again, try again. And listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Sometimes we think faster than you can hear. So don't try and just hear what she's going to do. Try and see it. Loosen your control and try and see it. Right? Okay. I want to get out of here.
Elizabeth, could do you, you hear me? I don't want to do this anymore. I'm leaving. Where are you going to go? I'll call my dad. He'll come get me. You no, know, that's not possible. What? You know. You know what? You've known for three years. Not ready. Upstairs one, sir. Now. But you were upstairs. We have a uh, a full-blown situation, and if she's as good as you say she is, then she's an asset. I don't own her, John. She's a citizen. No, but we pay for her. Yes, and you pay me to advise you on this project. And my advice is, she's not ready. Not yet. Be smart, Mike. The decision's been made. Telepathy, just, just look at your shoes. They'll fit right in. Okay, Mom, yeah. I, ten more minutes. Mom. For I am a pirate king, and it is, it is a glorious thing to be a pirate king. Out of my way, whore. Hey! Wait, wait, wait. Okay? Let's go. Some people I want you to meet. These more people who are going to help me? Other way around. Devil appears. Welcome to 47th Street. Dr. Wells, always a pleasure. Holier than thou, pain in the ass. Mark Marichek, pleasure. Lots of pleasure. Look at the biscuit the doc's been hiding from us. Lawrence Siegel. Telepath, my ass. Guy's full of crap. John Harper, it's an honor. Still not sure. Could be a security risk. Is she reading my mind right now? 
<clears throat> well, we had a, a rather rough ride into the city. Do, do you want to... What is this? Who are they? This is a satellite office of the National Security Agency. You have heard of the NSA. We're the largest intelligence agency in the world. But then again, we don't exactly like to advertise. And you work for us. He didn't prep her. Freya. I don't like this. I don't like what they're thinking. Calm down, miss. Larry, get, get your agents out of here, John, right now. This is why you helped me. No. The whole I, time? I told you that you were important. So I could do tricks like a trained monkey? No, this isn't about tricks. Look, I couldn't tell you, Freya. You wouldn't have come. I, I had no choice. They didn't give me a choice. That's how it works here, Freya. How do I unlock this door? Freya? Hurry up, come on, come on! Get her off the lobby. Great, perfect. Me and Psycho check for another 20 floors. Now, with my luck, I'll end up dating her. And damn, I got a fart. Freeze! She got off on three. Es que el gringo este que ya me tiene más cansado que el carajo ya. Ya estoy cansado de trabajar para el gringo porque con el gringo no. Crazy, huh? Yeah, never gonna touch me, oh, I'd like to tie her up. I'll have my way with her. You and filth, this city's a sewer. The guy's leg keeps really touching me. Is he doing it on purpose? I have to leave my house two hours ahead of time. Screw it. Alright, I'm gonna get him to lock him in the little bit. I can't believe how long he's been coming. I can't believe how long he's been coming. Holy <laughs> lost. the only one who has this number. Don't talk to me. You lied to me. Oh, come on. You ran out so fast I didn't have a chance to lie. 
You didn't tell me about those people. You tricked me. Those people funded your recovery. Those people paid for my project. Your project? Now I'm your project. All right. All right listen, no, listen to me. Listen to me. The NSA tracks threats and tries to stop them before people get hurt. Right now, they're tracking a very dangerous threat to this country, and they need your help. You're very important, Freya, whether you understand it or not. Whether you care or not. I can't believe anything that you say to me. Fine. Then believe what you see. You're all alone, and you have nothing. Where are you going to go? I need to talk to you. Dangerous. Oh, God. It's such it's dangerous. Did, did you know that I might show up here? There may have been a call. Who called? What'd they say? I can't tell. It's so hard seeing what's going on. Oh, my God. I'm shaking. June, look at me. I'm not crazy. What do you want, Freya? I'm your sister. I haven't seen you in five years. I want to see you. Five years, can't go through this again, can't lose her again. Maybe she's cured. What do I do? What do I do? Okay, look, don't think, okay? Just talk to me. Just talk to me like I'm a normal person. I am. That's what I'm doing. Tell me about your job. You're a lawyer, right? Yeah. I'm a public defender for the city. I handle a lot of cakewalks, Miranda problems, kind of working my way up. I can't do this. June, please talk to me. I wasn't expecting you. I don't know what to say. I think you should go. Hey, I'm your sister. You cannot just talk to me like this. You can't just treat me like this. Don't tell me what I can or can't do. You know, after Dad died, I was on my own. I sold the house. I worked my way through school. I did it. Moving here, getting the job. I know what I need and what I don't need. How did he die? His car went into the ocean. He said he'd been drinking. He started drinking a lot after you went into Brookridge. You hate me. What? You think it's my fault. I know what you're thinking. You are crazy. Now listen, Jude, there's something I need to tell you about me. There she is. Freya. Yeah, that's her. God, they're here. Who? The, the NSA, there. Oh, God, Freya. Why? Okay, I'm gonna go. I'll leave, okay? Don't get upset. I'm proud of you, Jim.
glad you decided to grace us with your presence, Miss McAllister, shall we? His name is Gabriel Perez. He's from Argentina, a Muslim. He contacted us two weeks ago, said he had information about an assassination plot against a political target here in the States soon. What's he talking about? We sent field agents down to make contact. They met in a crowded cafe or an espresso, hadn't even enough time to sit down when somebody pumped three rounds from a grenade launcher through the front door. Two of my agents were killed along with 16 civilians. There were three survivors. Guess who was one of them? We had an airlifted up here. He's in full coma and fading fast. So what, you want me to read his mind? Yes. The doctor says he can still hear us. So I'll prompt him. You just focus on his thoughts. Right? Gabriel, if you can hear me, I want you to remember who it was you were selling information about. Who's Gazal? God help us. You were right. What's Gazal's location? Gabriel, where is Gazal? He's jumbled and scared. Gabriel. You're safe, I promise. Just think, where is Gazal? Love, New York. Susie John Hopper. Yeah, tell him it's urgent. She's good. given to one of the world's most dangerous assassins. Only no one's ever identified him, so we have no idea where he's from. We have no idea what he looks like. In fact, we don't even know his real name. What do they want me to do? I want you to work with the field agents in charge of the Gazelle Task Force. It's a guy named Brendan Dean. But you'd only be there strictly as an observer. I wouldn't want to risk you getting hurt. Well, what about this agent? I can't tell him. No, no, he's not, he's not clear to know about your telepathy. As far as he's concerned, you're, uh, you're an agency observer. I can't believe this. I mean, is there anyone you people don't keep secrets from? Oh, come on, from? Fred, it's for your own protection. Why, is Agent Dean gonna hurt me? <coughs> uh, I'm to kill someone. Terry isn't here in five minutes. I promise you something's gonna die. It takes time to process a requisition like that, Brennan. No, no. When you ask for a resource out in the field, you should be able to produce it right away. Otherwise, the NSA shouldn't have a field office. That's perfect. That's perfect. Look, Brendan. Where's Terry? We got phone and data line taps running on every major radical in the city. Why don't you just get some sleep? We'll call you the phone second taps. we get a hit. Phone taps. Where are we? This is the NSA. We should have uh, satellites tracking the East River. I want um, 
GPS blowjacks on every one of those crackpots. Okay, guys. Guys! We have no target. We have no time frame. And we have no idea who contracted Gazelle. So what do we have? <clears throat> Hi. I'm Fran McAllister. The Observer. <clears throat> Hi. Hello. Hi, uh, Brendan Dean. Oh, great. Good job. Real articulate. You're starting her body. For God's sake, stop starting her body. It's nice to have you on board. Uh, on board? Hmm. Who talks like that? Pull it together, B. She probably would get you fired. That's not good. Look, I, I don't want to get in your hair. I... Oh, don't even worry about that. In your hair. Mm, great hair. This cuffs are but strong. Brennan, you have to sign for that. Forge me. Uh, shall we go? Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? We got some work to do now. Scooby Dooby Doo, do 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 So, how do you like your job? Scooby Dooby Doo. Uh huh. There it is. They're framing me. It's not fair. Replace me before I've proven myself. Screw you. It's great. Math nerds with guns. Yeah, lots of uh, challenges. You know when the NSA created a field office? They blurred the line between a criminal agency and an intelligence agency, and uh, sometimes a gray area can facilitate the movement between a, uh, a black area and a white area. Damn. You started good. What happened? You're with the Bureau, right? Uh-oh. No, this is my file. Don't answer. Turn it around, B. What about you? Uh, what's your area of expertise? Counter-espionage? Intel? No. Um... I'm an observer, I'm here to find Ghazal and let you do your job. An observer? She'll find Ghazal right. She probably can find Waldo. Sounds like a plan. All right, I've got an informant inside and he's a little jumpy, so let me do the talking, okay? Extra Special Agent D. How's it going? What's the matter? You don't visit me no more. Wow. Ooh. Who's your friend? I bet she likes big hairy men. She's a little shy. Mm -hmm. What do you got for me? Oh, man, it's been a crazy week, you know? Stuff I know. You're gonna be killed. I think the question is, what do you got for me? Hmm? Okay, I'll think of something. Better make up a story for this chump. I'll make up a story about, uh, the airport. Yeah. Wall. Nice. Okay. I got a friend of LaGuardia. Just tell me about a shipment. What kind of shipment? Oh. Hey, what, what the hell was that? You give me back that envelope. That guy is useless and sick. Costas has intimate knowledge of exactly the type of people Gazal uses, and he was going to tell me everything he knows. He doesn't know anything, not this time. He's just stringing you along to get more of these envelopes. He thinks you're a chump. Here's what I know. Proper procedure. Chain of command. Here's what I don't use. So with all due respect, is there something you know that I don't lay it out right now? Sorry, I can't. Oh, no, see, that doesn't work. Because I have to go back to my superiors with results, and sorry, I can't is hard to analyze, as I'm sure you've experienced. Well, I am not an analyst. Look, you just have to trust me. No, no, that's right. You're an observer. You observe. You don't destroy carefully built informant relationships. Brendan, he doesn't know anything. I'm in charge of this investigation, and you're going to hand me that envelope right now. Hi, it's me. Costas is a total dead end, and uh, Agent Dean. Is... Right. It's for you. Who 
the hell is this? Need to know basis? No, Harper. You listen to me, Harper. If some observer can just put rank on me, some nut job telling me my business. Harper, tight ass. Probably has sex with his clothes on. What are we doing here? FBI's holding Lars Edson here, trying to pin a case on him. He flew into town last week, and they scooped him up at the airport. He says he's in town for a family wedding case against him this week, so he'll probably walk. Is there a problem? Uh, no. I was just wondering... Well, maybe you can walk and wonder at the same time, because we're kind of under the gun. Lars Edson is a KGB-trained engineer who went freelance after the wall came down. He's built everything from night vision scopes to radioactive tracking devices. And he's been less than scrupulous about who employs him. We have an appointment with Lars Edson. I still don't understand. Then don't. You're an observer, so this time, just observe. She'll have to sign, too. Oh, this way. He's got a visitor leaving right now. Uh, who is that woman? They make that tree. Sounds as soon 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 as I'm not answering any question without my lawyer. I wouldn't dream of violating your rights. And, uh, by the way, was that uh, your girlfriend back there in the hallway? Nice. This one is easy, but who is she? She's family. I came here for a bed. Don't time. answer any questions. Brendan Dean, NSA. So I've been told. Mr. Edson, I'm June McAllister. I'll be taking over your case for Mr. Gordon. Good. Hi, June. Why is she here? She looks scared. I hope she's okay. You know her? She's my sister. Definitely not an observer. I'm being set up. What's going on here? What's going on here? That's an excellent place to start. You first. NSA, what do they want with my sister? What have they done to her? Coincidence? No, there's more. Harper's not telling me something. Why don't we start with why you really came to New York? Hey! Bedding. I said no questions. So don't answer any questions. I can ask until my heart's content. And by the way, you don't have to take her advice. Definitely here for Kazal. Understand my curiosity over somebody who would enter this country knowing the FBI wants him. I don't care what they want. My client is in charge with a federal crime. The FBI can't arrest me on suspicion of something happened in Ukraine. Wait for it's a free free. country, Lars. We can do whatever Wait. we want. And did you just admit to selling to the Russians, by the way? Keep stalling. Few more hours, okay. then ultrasound no, sight. this applies to the charges he's being held on. They're junk, and I think you know oh, it. Yeah, the charges. I know that uh, every time I go to a wedding, I make sure to pack a concealed weapon before the trip. It was a Swiss army knife. A little tiny knife, I should say. Am I sensing... Murderous intent here, or is that just if me? the FBI they or, don't know. or any other Nothing. alphabet joker tries to follow through on that charge, we will slap Uncle Sam with a harassment suit that'll make his top hat spin. Well, he's your uncle, too. Well, no smile. She likes it. How old is she? Lars? Let's cut the crap, Lars. Who is this one? We know about the ultrasound site. They know? How? What do you what, what is she talking about? The ultrasound site. This dangerous. It's cutting edge technology. It pings ultrasound signals off the surface, sends them back through an imaging scope, paints a picture of what's on the other side of the wall. It's very handy if you're targeting somebody through a wall. 
You didn't happen to build one of those bad boys, did you, Lars? He doesn't know, but who is she? I make none. We know. Why do you think we're here? Dangerous girl. Who hired you, Lars? You don't have to. I have done nothing. Nothing. Who hired you, or should we finish this conversation in federal custody? On what? An accusation? I'll take that chance. Who hired you? Don't answer. This is not good. Who hired you? I don't answer. I must get, they want. I must not get transferred Who from here. You? I must stay. I give them the. Give them information. Name. Give them the name. Matthews. Matthews placed the order. Alan Matthews. Gotcha. Hey, Patel. What's the status with their boy? Home alone. Ground team's ready to rock and roll. Guns is on the third floor, covering the lava. She doesn't need one of those. Why not? Will you reposition yourself behind Matthews' loft? This looks like a tailgate party back here today. Alan Matthews is a weapon designer the ATF's been chasing for years. We're gonna grab him so we can question him. Maybe I can help. Maybe you can, by waiting in the car. This is not a reflection on you. I thought you did a good job with Lars. No one seems to want to tell me exactly how you knew about this ultrasound site, but this is a takedown. And I have very strict orders direct from your magic phone to keep you out of harm's way. Kunzel, this is Dean. I'm coming up. How long has your sister been at the, the PD's office? She's not your type. She just gave me her card, that's all. She what? She just wants to talk about you. Sorry I spoke. Where is he, Kunzel? In the kitchen, making lunch. You would not believe what this guy is doing. He's mixing peanut butter with roast beef. What did you say to Jude about me? What the hell are you what doing? Did you Get say away from the window! Sorry. Did he see us? Negative. The sun's on our six and I'm getting some glare off the windows. I'd say he's blind us. Ground unit. Prepare to breach the building, Kunzel. And keep her here. What's going on in that lock? Ma'am, I'm not at liberty to advance. Spot. Can I look through your spotting scope? What's going on? How many freaking sandwiches do I gotta make? Come on, guys, show up. Let's get a move on. Go time. Get inside, get him hard, get out fast. Don't take this guy for granted. It could be dangerous. Go now, play it safe. Okay, all right. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Shoot four us up. We hit him hard, we hit him hard. Okay, go, go, go. Oh, the silent alarm. Hello, boys. What? the stairwell. Better move it. Five minutes, whole place go boom. Get your men out of there, it's a trap. Freddy, that's impossible. What you mean, tell? I just know, Brendan. Matthews has a bomb. He's waiting for you. We have nothing to indicate that, and we are moving forward. Somebody get her off the headset.
do you think you're doing? We could have killed him. I am telling you, he's gonna blow up the loft. Matthew, set a timer. We've got less than four minutes. Kanzo, come back. Get everyone out of here now. Go for Kanzo. What's going on up there? Do you see a bomb? Negative. He's left my sight towards the north end of the building. Over. All right, this stops now. Reach the third floor, wait for me up there. Kanzo, what else do you see up there? are endangering the lives of my men. Get the hell out of here. Third floor breach in the hall. I need you to listen to me like you've never listened to anyone before. There is a bomb in this building and we are all going to die. I know this for a fact. How? I know it the same way I knew Costas was lying. And the same way I knew about Lars and the ultrasound site. The same way I know you've been rehearsing how to ask out my sister and that you've had the Scooby-Doo theme song in your head all morning. What did you say? Brendan, I hear thoughts. I am a telepath. That's crazy. The craziest thing you've ever heard? How about this one? A couple of hours ago, you were thinking about Harper, and that he's such a tight ass, he probably has sex with his clothes on. Now, I wasn't thinking that. You were. And Matthews was thinking about a bomb. So pull your men out now. It's no holding, sir. Abort, evacuate the building immediately. <laughs> Pickup heading south out of the grid. Okay. Damn it. We lost them. They're headed east on uh... 14th Street. What? They're headed to 14th Street. They're headed to 14th Street.
I've always come to the city. Don't be scared. Don't come near me. Listen to me now, right now, inside my head. I couldn't just tell stay. you a secret. Just get away. Just get away from her. Stay away from me. Sí, va a ser tremenda sorpresa. Le compré peque que me queda. These pictures are old. This guy's a scar against his left cheek. This guy has both of his ears pierced. I didn't know you had a chance to examine their bodies. I didn't. Wait. You tell me you remember all that from one glance? Yes. Meet Chor Chow, Durwa Heed, members of the Indonesian Lasker Jihad and Malaysian Kumpul and Mujahideen terrorist groups, respectively. I've been updated. What's their connection with each other? Well, we're working on that. Uh, we know they're not your typical foot soldiers. We're too well educated. Agent Merriweather, could you excuse us? Yeah. We have a problem. You know, if this is about security clearance, my lips are sealed. I, I just want to forget about it. We don't need to talk about it. Fine, you're off the case. I'm what? Wait a minute, what, what, what did you say? Freya McAllister is the reason we've gotten this far on the investigation. If you can't handle her, I'll find someone who can. Let's talk. You may have Harper's ear and that's fine, but I don't answer to you. And frankly, I'm not exactly sure what it is you do around here, Dr. Wells. Because evidently, I'm not cleared to know a lot of things. But I will tell you one thing, I'm this close to slapping Harper with my resignation. This isn't about you or him. This is about Fran McAllister. So what's the message here, huh? Roll with it, Brendan. This is somebody who reads personal thoughts, and I realize nobody respects my privacy, but I do. What's that? That is the kind of privacy that Freya enjoyed for nine years in a mental hospital. Hundreds of voices in her head, nonstop, every minute of every day. Freya's one of a kind. And not just because she was able to overcome that ordeal, but because somehow she's been able to retain the capacity to care about every voice she hears. Including yours, it seems. Start with start over. I'm, I'm sorry, there's no way I could have. No, 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 no. Don't attack her. Just. I'm the kind of guy who... No, 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 no. Don't justify things. Just, just... Hi. Freya. Freya, hi. Hi. I was waiting for you. I, Dr. Wells gave me this address. It's a uh, nice neighborhood. This place makes mine look like a closet. NSA pays for this, huh? What do you want, Brendan? I was just, uh, wanted to, uh... You know... Look... I'm a feet-on-the-ground kind of guy. Rules, logic, problem-solving, that's my world. And I'm good at it. Damn good. Uh, but outside of that, my life's kind of a mess. Uh, but if you know what I've been thinking, you'd know that. So, ever since you told me about you, I mean, that's, that's way outside my world. So I've been retracing my thoughts. And when I say that, I mean every thought, because I have this memory, it just doesn't miss a thing. And, uh, you know, anyway, um, 
I've been obsessing over what I thought and what you heard and what you think that means about me. And I just want you to know that um, none of it is personal. Michael told you about me. Yeah, I told him the whole story. I asked him about your sister. She doesn't know, does she? I don't want her to know. Or anyone else. You know, there's something else I want you to think about. Because I can't get it out of my head, but in that alley you sense the shooters and you push me down. If you weren't there, I'd be dead. If you weren't, um, who you are, I'd be dead. Wait. They were after us. The guys in the pickup truck. The shooters. They were pros. They were sent there to wipe out Matthews. And cover Gazal's tracks. No. I heard their thoughts before they shot. They said that's them. That's her. There's a connection between our two hitmen. Banco, Pacifico, and Manila. Both men had multi-million dollar accounts there until the U.S. froze their assets last month. I call that motive and opportunity. Money launders are one of the few groups who can meet Gazal's asking price. Currently, ten million per hit. All we need to know is the target. Where's that list of VIPs in town next week? Here. Jeremiah Grant. Ooh, Fergie's in town. Abdul Kamil Zabudi. Who? Uh, Islamic cleric, pro-Western, moderate, possible candidate. Uh, keep going. Uh, chairman of the World Bank, Elizabeth Myers, Walter Polson, Francis Faraday, the Prime Minister wait, wait, of... Wait, wait. Go back. What did you say? What? Faraday? Does that ring a bell? Last week, she was made Deputy Attorney General. She launched a new campaign aimed at foreign banks with terrorist clients. Get a list of the banks that Faraday's targeting. My guess is that our hitter's bank is on her list. She's giving a big address to the plaza tomorrow. Yahtzee, Banco Pacifico's on the list. Is the address televised? National news segment. That's because I was targeting. Well, then call it off. It's not that easy. Our, uh... Case isn't exactly rock solid. Well, Secret Service is on alert. The fact is, Faraday's had heavy security ever since he vowed to take down those banks. They have a rain day location, but they're going to need more proof to move the whole circus. Rain day? Yeah, high security events have a backup location. The plaza's gorgeous. It's just a bitch to secure. We need proof. We need proof. What? You can't keep me. They say the police state. This is illegal. Lars Edson built an ultrasound sack. What was it for? I'm not talking to you, piece of crap. Then shut up. Oh. A 50 caliber Barrett sniper rifle modified. Modified how? Eat me. Binary magazine and AP. Armor piercing. And HE. High explosion. Well, what is this, some kind of good cop, bad cop thing? Who's the target? He doesn't know. Where's the rifle? He doesn't. He delivered it on Tuesday. Where's the rifle? I'm Agent Dean, National Security Agency. I have a few questions for you. You visited Lars Edson yesterday in holding, didn't you? No, 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 I understand. Yes, you do. Open up the door. Lars is not guilty. FBI guilty. We're not here about Lars. We're here about the rifle Alan Matthews stashed for Gazal. Gazal? I borscht! Respect old woman, eh? Are you Gazal? I'm close as you get. Where do you get your information? What's the combination to this lock? I didn't, you did. I didn't send. 
I will ask the questions. What's the combination? What is it? What is it? Let's just warm up. Now we get to business. How did you know about the weapon? How did you know about ultrasound before you were told? Never had much use for that in the anyway. Oh. Hmm. No, wait, 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 wait. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what you want to know. Jamil! Jamil? Jamil? Little boy next door? That's right. We've had him watching you and reporting back to us for months. You are lying to stay alive. <laughs> Suspect a little boy. answers you are supposed to find. Fine. You sure? I'm fine. What's the update? The update is that you did a good job. We, uh, we found the rifle along with the plaza room key. The suite was located directly above the main ballroom because I was going to use the ultrasound site to line up a shot right through the floor. That rifle is a, a serious piece of weaponry. Oh, oh, and the, um, the Secret Service is going to call a rain day and move the entire event to their backup location. What about Zoya? We ran her fingerprints through NCIC. Zoya Anderov turns out to be Zoya Kokotovich, an ex-KGB instructor. Old school, and they still had cyanide fillings in their molars. Do you think... I mean, is there any chance that Zoya is Ghazal? That's possible. I mean, Ghazal could be a woman. Ghazal could be a group of individuals. But whomever, or whatever, or wherever he is... I think you sent him back. What's wrong? Nothing. 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 Okay. It's just Zoya. The last time we saw her, she said we've still got nothing. There's something we're missing. There was this image in her mind, maybe from the first time we saw her at the holding cell. 
Brendan, what else do you remember about Zoya the first time we saw her? Well, she's about ten feet ahead of us. No, 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 no. Don't just remember it. Uh, picture it, and I'll read your mind. Uh, there were a few guards, each with 9 millimeter Berettas, black ceiling with exposed pipes, Three doors on the right, two on the left. Uh, double pin tumbler locks on them all. Zoya was walking with a slight limp on her right side. It was probably her hip. She stopped for a drink of water. And she seemed to stop for a while. I don't know why. She... That's it. Where's the reindeer location? Where do they move Faraday? Freya, relax. It's the courthouse, isn't it? How do you know? The plaza was a decoy. The plaza, Matthews, the gun, the whole thing. Because all's targeting the courthouse. Fred, there's a reason the courthouse is a backup location. It's easy to limit the entrances and do a, a sweep of everyone inside, which the Secret Service has already done. You're Nobody's not listening. getting inside their security perimeter. You're not They're listening. not going to want to do it all over. He's already inside their security. Come on, let's go. Going on. Some added security. They set it up this morning. All you need to concern yourself with is letting me do my job in front of the judge. I'll see you in the courtroom. Yeah. Damn it! Secret services are responding to our alert. They claim that no one can know the rain day location in advance. I'm gonna call a block on myself. Water. There's water in the court. <coughs> yes, yeah, yeah, he's got a court appointment right now. I'll call the liaison officer. <coughs> what? Charlie, this is Barry. Come back. Take out your keys and unlock me now. Charlie, come back when you're 20. Don't waste your life for that or for me. I just want to escape. Quick. Time's a ticket. Go ahead. Charlie! Boy is nothing but trouble. Case dismissed. Most beautiful words in the Chilling. English language. Party last night was absolutely killing. Oh, I gotta call those girls tonight. No, no. no they no, are not going to please slow down. We are going to. We're going to win this thing. We need a character witness fast. You'll never know. Nobody else. He couldn't have. No. Nope. Getting out of here scot free. Just a preliminary here. Wow, this place is crap. It's stupid to have violation. Yeah, I gotta call my broker. Yeah, I'm sure 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 She dies. She dies. You die. Craig, get out! I, I, I want to see my family. I, I've just come for a wedding. That is all. Come in, I 
Sir. All men millimeters. Her body? Get for a shot. Then get through the door. No, wait, no, that won't work. Use their fear. Frey, I hope you can. If you can hear this, I don't have a clear shot. Gazal, look at me. I want you to look at me because I know all about you. She knows? No, don't be fooled. There is no link, no proof, no nothing. Frey, no. You've already lost Gazal. You're just too stupid to realize it. How did they find me? The wire transfer. No, it's impossible. The Swiss account? The Swiss accounts have all been frozen. What? How? The Schweizerverbund? No, they couldn't. Schweizerverbund, yes. Tribank, too. We took it all. Oh, all my God. Not can be. She's lying. She must be lying. Twenty years of blood money. Your house in Rome. Your view from the balcony. Gone. 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 You left a trail. All of your mistakes, and you made so many of them. We followed that trail, and we took it all. Impossible. How could you Twenty know? years. We took it. I took it. How could she know? Who are you? Penny for your thoughts. Why buy? They're free. Don't be nervous. I'll crack him. I have no doubt about that. I just hope he knows what we think he knows. There's only one way to find out. Seemed pretty damn chipper today. I had a good time last night. Well, did you go on a date or something? <laughs> no. I'm not ready for that yet. Fallacy. F-A-L-L-A-C-Y. I had dinner with June. What'd you say? Same story. That the NSA rescued me from Brookridge when they found out I could break down any kind of mathematical code. A savant story. I don't think she believes me. That's because she's smart. Why are you going to tell her the truth? Michael says That's that... That's Michael. Freya, they're ready for you. Don't forget to get the coordinates, all right? Latitude, longitude. I know, I got it. Okay, I'm going to be outside. You just knock when all hell breaks loose. Will do. You don't know me, but I know all about you. I know about your group. I know about the uranium. I know what you plan to do with it. And everything I don't know, you're about to tell me right now. So, let's start at the beginning.